In this video, we're going to explore how to create rounded bars like these here and more specifically rounded at the very top but also rounded at the very bottom. And also we're going to make this bar chart slightly more narrow to give it a bit more nice appeal. So let's start and explore how we can make these kind of things. In this video, we're going to focus on the question how to create rounded bars including the bottom in Chart.js. So basically, if you're very used to uh, rounded bars, you will notice that there's the bottom part of chart doesn't get the rounded edge. So we're going to explore this one. So this question came from Tutor Plus, and for some reason on YouTube, I'm not able to retrieve the comment as it doesn't show up. However, he showed a sample of what he was looking for was something like this, where you have rounded bars, top and bottom. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create something similar as a shape. To do this, we need to go here to the chartjs3.com, which is my personal site, where you can get the default item here, or basically the default code that we're going to use. So I'm going to copy this. And once I copy this, I'm going to paste it here down, and then we're going to work on this immediately. I'm going to paste in here the title. All right, so we have that, save this. Once you save it and refresh, you can see now we have our bar chart here, basic bar chart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use certain commands here. So you click here, we go to chart yes, and this is the latest version as of now, 3.4.1. We go here to the bar chart, and in here we're going to do a few things. Well, we scroll down here a bit, and we're going to look for the documentation. I'm going to search here for the border radius item, so let's see where I can find it. There you are. Border radius, all right, so by default it's set on zero, we're going to use this one. So I say here, border width, comma, and now you have border radius. And let's make this 20 pixels, so just save that, I'll put a comma here, because we'll put it. we have to add something more. But once we did this, we refresh, and you can see we get an issue here. Why on earth is the bottom not responding? Because you expect this as well. Because you're thinking, thinking much in CSS. And with here, how does this really work is because this here specifically is targeting the border. And with the canvas, it's for, far more specific. So that would mean that we need to specify here at the bottom a border as well. There is no border here. And this is the reason why it's not shown. So let's go back here to the bar chart. We're going to look at this one here. Border skip, which is a string. And the default value is start. Meaning, well, let's click on this to understand this. So start, what does that mean? Well, remember, if we have a horizontal chart, or sorry, uh, this is a vertical bar chart, just a basic bar chart, the starting point is the bottom. If we switch this to a horizontal version, the starting point will be here at the left, meaning that the line will be here at the bottom, but here, the line that will not start, will not be shown, is the first one here at the left side, which is the starting point, all right? So this is basically, the issue here. All we have to do here is the border skip and then we just select false. So we can put in a string value or we can put in a boolean value of false. Showing it, specific one or none. Alright, so what we're going to do here is very simple. We just put in border skip and then we say false. Save that. And once we save that, the next thing what we want to do here now, of course, check and refresh. And now we have this one here. All right, so that works very nice. What I want to do is just for the statics, because this looks quite like a histogram chart. And if you want to learn how to make a histogram chart, I have a three part video covering this because the histogram chart requires some modifications. And what I want to do is I want to make this just a far more narrow, just to give it a bit more eye, eye appeal or aesthetic. So it looks more aesthetically pleasing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work with the bar percentage and I have a video about this as well, but I'll just make it very simple. I'm going to add up here. Say the bar percentage will be 0 0.5. If we save this here, refresh, that looks a bit nicer. And what you could do as well, if we would have a category, we can just go back here and we say category percentage, comma, and get also 0 0.5, and then maybe this can be 0 0.2, 25, or 25. Then you have nice small bars. And this is basically how you can create rounded bar charts at the top and at the bottom. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in chart.js, check out in the description box the link 
directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.